And we've got the seniors all lined up for you right out here. And Jerry Lawhead is going to be talking to them, and we're going to find out some real interesting moments in their high school career. Well, guys, can you believe it? Four years later, last night, last home game. I know you guys aren't done for the season, but this is a pretty special night. A lot of emotions running through you right now. Okay. What I'd like to do is find out what each of you are going to do after high school and uh, kind of get an idea of your favorite memory or un most unfavorite memory. <laughs> I'm going to go there. Um, and maybe somebody you'd like to thank for helping you during your career. Lucas? Uh, next year I plan to attend Henderson State University and probably play football and have some fun while I'm there. And my favorite memory in my high school basketball is probably my fresh soft days with Coach Pico. So. Um, I'm Jason Woodard and I plan to go to Eastern and get a degree in science. Um, my greatest moment was probably this year against Casey when we were down six with like 40 seconds left and came back and won. Are you running cross country? Yeah. You going to where to run? Uh, I don't think I'm going to. Okay. But you had some great accomplishments. Yeah, I went to state all three years of my four. That's got to be a good memory. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Um, I'm Nick Brooks, and I'm going to Butler University next year, and uh, I think I'm a major in elementary education, and my fondest memory would be going to state uh, last year and hopefully this year. Sam? Uh, I'm Kent Tedford, and I'm playing on attending Indiana University at Bloomington, and my favorite memory was, without a doubt, going to Peoria last year. My name's Tyson Schnitger. And next year I plan on attending Indiana State University to play basketball. And favorite moment would probably be uh, going up to the show in Peoria. Hope you get back there next year, this year too. My name is Bird, and uh, my favorite memory is probably going to Peoria last year. And I have no no idea what I'm doing next year. Thank you. Well, guys, it's sure been a pleasure watching you the last four years. I know you got a lot left that you want to accomplish been working hard real hard all year and uh, we wish you the best of luck and hopefully we can hoist hoist a big trophy at the end of the year way to go guys Good job that was Jed and the seniors and uh, a good interview Jerry and we'll be uh, talking a little bit more about that as we go on we'll be back with tonight's ball game and the introductions here in just a little bit Thanks, so guys. stay with Appreciate us
Introduction of the seniors. If they only realize what Charlie Incorporated and Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. number 30, a 6'2 senior. And the three guys in the middle will be Brad Lackemeyer, number 42, 6'7 senior. Nick Brooks, number 44, a 6'5 senior. And making, I think, his first start of the season tonight, Lucas Taylor, number 50, a 6'5 senior. Jason Woodard, I'm sure, will be the first man off the bench. Right. It's the first, maybe the first dead ball. We'll see. Maroon's 22 and 2, 6 and 2 overall in conference play. Harris with one more conference game remaining, and we, we can't figure out who it is they play, but uh, I'd sure like to see them pick up a loss and, and wind up with a tie for the conference. That's I don't sure. think they're going to be playing anybody that's going to beat them, though, and I, I'm kind of like uh, Jerry a while ago that, that maybe Newton is who they finish up with. Well, as Dwayne said, and I think you've figured out by now, it's senior night. We hope you enjoyed the beginning of tonight's telecast where Jerry talked to the seniors out there. You got a little bit of a close-up version of them and talked to all the senior boys. And then we had the introduction of the parents and the seniors prior to the uh, ball game here tonight. And now we're going to have a senior starting lineup as we get ready to go. You got the officials? I've got them. Skip Dillon from Florida. Jim Holzapple from Iuka. Larry Binion from Salem. I wear? Iuka. Iuka, man. Well, sounds like the, the, the Route 50 crew to me. <laughs> Route 50. That yeah, is South Route 50. <laughs> Skip uh, Dillon is uh, football coach over at Florida this year, I think. Well, it'll be Nick Brooks and Quentin Combs in the center circle as we get ready to go. Full house here tonight. That's nothing unusual. 
Big crowd from Charleston. The Maroons control the tip-off, which they have most of the time this year. Tyson Snitker with it. Jason Witter's got his jury sweat off already at the bench. <laughs> Let him work a sweat up a little bit. Right. First bucket in there by Brad Lackemeyer. Two to nothing. And, and the, here comes the Trojans. They're going to push it. They will push the ball, that is for sure. Man, Shots up and good. Who got that? I was looking down. That's Quentin Combs. Brian McDermott. He really flew to the basket. Didn't he? I had trouble picking him up. Here's Kedford goes down to Brooks. Nick brings it back out to Kemp. Kemp out on top. Now to Lackamar. Tedford backs it off. There's Snicker. Down the ball. Nice, nice play. Whoops. Uh -oh. He missed the duck. Nick went up for it. Lost control of the ball and threw it away. First time I've seen that happen. Two to two is the score here. Does that goes a shot attempt or a turnover? Well, <laughs> I don't know. But I bet you there's nobody more embarrassed out there than Nick is right now. <laughs> McDermott gets it back over to Combs. And they try to go inside to uh, Schick, and they lose it. Here's Tyson pushing it down in a hurry. Nick in the corner takes the baseline, crowds his way in, got this one. No doubt about it. That's Murphy with it out on the key, or out on the wing. Gives it over to Holman in the corner. In and out, no good. Brooks with the rebound. Nick takes it in the lane. Gives it out to Snitker. There's three. Comes off on a long rebound. Picked out of there by Holman. And the Trojans push it down. Shots no good. Again, long rebound. Nick controls it. Quick shots by the Trojans. Everybody's in a hurry to start with there, aren't they? Tedford. Gives over to Brad Sheener, sneaked in here on us. Lackemeyer back to Tedford. There's Brad into, Br into Brad. Brad to Brad, and Brad puts it up and missed it. Went to the floor. McDermott pushes it down in the lane, drives up on the layup, won't go, and there's Lackemeyer for the rebound. Brad was on the floor when that play took off. He hustled right down there and picked the rebound up. Brad Shaner back out to Nick. Nick's going to put up the three. Swish. He's picking up right where he left off last night. And he had that shot down cold last night. And that there's one by Brandon Murphy. Or uh, yeah, Brandon Murphy three. drops the three. Seven to five the score. One or two passes and shooting by Charleston. There is. Here's Nick off the glass. Doesn't get it. Murphy brings it down. He throws it away as he tries to get to Quentin Combs, and we're going up and down the floor in a hurry. We've played about three minutes. Here comes Lucas Taylor back in the lineup. Lackamire, a breather. Maroon's up by two, seven to five. Dwayne looks like they're guarding us straight up. No yeah, jump defense so. here. It's hard to tell. We about three passes and everything's over with. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said anything. Right. Well, that's all right. That's the way to go here. There's Snitker. Pulls, whoop, he tries the baseline, sails Woo. it back out, throws it away. Keeping track of the turnovers? Yeah, try to. <laughs> McDermott will bring it in for the Trojans. I'm going to work up a sweat tonight on this camera. <laughs> Make people homesick. That thing's going to be <laughs> swinging back and forth. Out front, shot, no good. Rebound, Nick Brooks. McDermott put the shot up. Brooks down the floor. Gives to Tedford in the corner. Kent puts up one. Off the rim. No good. Pulled down by McDermott. Here come the Trojans in a hurry. Nick picks off the pass. Two on two. He takes it all the way in. Puts it up. Doesn't get it, but he'll draw the foul and go to the line. I expect the officials are glad to see this foul call. <laughs> you remember, catch, you catch remember Green Lash? Yeah. <laughs> He'd have been in a deep conversation with Coach Gillespie with his towel in his face <laughs> yes, by he now. Would. <laughs> Nick well, I, comes I, up short. I think it's to our advantage to play at this tempo. We've got some athletes, and we're not, you know, we're not real deep. But um, since Hardeman got healthy, and we have been running a little bit more, 
Lackamire and Hardeman back in the ball game as uh, Taylor and Shaner will take a break here. Nick's second shot's up and good. Maroons trying to improve on their free throw percentage, and right now it's not very good. Holman takes it to the lane. Double dribbles. No, nope, blocking foul is going to be called. Nathan Holman. And Mr. Dillon called the foul on uh, Kyle Hardeman, I believe, wasn't it? Yep. Trojans have it out under their own basket. Good defense by the Maroons. They have a hard time getting it in. Murphy. Out of the corner for three. Brandon Murphy. And we're tied at eight. 3.58 to go. Snitker. Over to Nick. Nick thinks about it. Takes it in the lane. Puts up a little jumper. And draws a foul. He'll go back to the line to shoot a pair here. Eight to eight, the score. Ryan Schick with the foul, his first, second team foul. Charleston is pretty deep. We've got some juniors and sophomores on the bench that can play. Nick's got that one. Three forty-four to go here in the first quarter. Nick makes them both. Good to see that. Yeah, ten-eight now. Maroons on top. Murphy dishes it over in the corner to McDermott. Ryan takes it in the lane, kicks it back out front. Now Holman. Now Brandon Murphy again. Shot clock. We wish. <laughs> Holman works against Tedford. Tries to go in, backs it out, puts up the shot and in. Nice, nice fadeaway. Shot by Nathan Holman that's tied to 10 again. This group of kids from Charleston has won at every level that they've played at. Um, been very successful. They've got some good looking kids coming on too. Kyle Hardeman with the ball out on the wing, drives against Holman, gets away, inside has a shot blocked from behind. Oh, and, that looked like and, ball uh, Yeah, that was um, Ryan Schick thought he had all ball and it looked pretty good from here too, but second Mr. foul. Mr. Hardeman will be up there to shoot a pair of them. Good luck to the Maroons tonight from the Kemper CPA Group. See Kemper CPA Group for your year-round tax service, accounting, and auditing. That's Kemper CPA Group right here in Robinson. That away, Kyle. McDermott comes out and um, Pat Booker Flips in the ball game first time tonight. Now it's 12 to 10. Maroons by two. Quentin Combs gives it off to Murphy. Brandon works against Snitker. Now back to Booker. Over to Schick. They go around to Murphy. Murphy's going to put up a three. Swish. He's got that one buried. It's now it's 13-12. Up at Charleston, we rotated defenders on Murphy, so uh, we'll give him some different looks. Better start doing it soon, though. Kyle will go for three. Oh, it looked good from there. Good rebound. Murphy with a, or uh, Brad Lackemeyer with a rebound and the putback. Good work by Brad. We went to 14-13 now, Maroons. Big block. Oh, down a block. Great block. Loose ball. Tedford's got it. Gives it back to Nick. Good hustle on the part of the Maroons. Lackamire again, takes it inside, got yeah. another one. 16-13, and Brad Lackamire's on fire, and that's enough for the Trojans. They call a timeout. Charleston coach out on the floor. He's not uh, very happy. Is that a short or a long? It is long. Crawford Memorial Hospital and Healthcare Services welcomes board-certified orthopedic surgeon Dr. Pete Stravides to the active medical staff. Dr. Stravides has 23 years of orthopedic experience and is now seeing patients at the CMH Orthopedic Clinic, located in Suite D at the Crawford Memorial Medical Building at 1000 North Allen Street in Robinson. To make an appointment with Dr. Stravides or for more information about his services, call Crawford Memorial Hospital Orthopedic Clinic at 546-1294. Please join CMH in welcoming Dr. Stravides and his family to our community. 16-13 here in the first quarter with two minutes to go, and it's been up and down the floor. Oh, 
70 to 40, right. Illinois over Michigan State tonight. Never would have believed it. Self <laughs> <laughs> must have turned up the defense <laughs> tonight. Isn't it? Well, after that Charleston timeout, they've got the ball. Nathan Holman will bring it down against uh, Tedford, and they go to Murphy underneath. Brandon in trouble. Did he walk? Yes, he did. Good defense by the Maroons. They bottled Brandon up right under the bucket. A nice pass in there by Holman, but they couldn't do anything with it. Under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Snitcher with the ball. Drives the baseline, puts up a 10-footer. Uh, doesn't get the roll. Guess who's there? Brad Shaner put it back up and in. Shaner, good work underneath. There's the drive. They kick it back out to Combs. Combs shots no good. Rebound comes back and controlled by Schick. Trojans keep it. I said Schick. That's uh, Booker. Now McDermott. Nice well, drive to the drive. bucket. The drive by Booker. Fouled by his own player. He'll be at the line to shoot to. Who are they going to give it to? Brad Lagemar got credit for it. His first, yep. second team foul. Pat Booker. Is McDermott. Booker. Booker's up the line. 24. Four, okay. 18-13 is the score. Brad will come out and breathe a little bit, and Lucas Taylor will come in. Great effort by senior Brad Lockemeyer so far tonight. Got one of them, make it 18-14. Snitker. Drives around his man, takes it down the middle. They gave him the room, and he slips up. Oh, a little, little shot rolled in and out. Down in a hurry. McDermott puts it off the glass, won't go, and Tedford's there with a the rebound. Has it knocked away, but he picks it up. Forward to Snitker. You're going to hold. Looks yep. like. About 40 seconds to go here in the quarter, and the Maroons are just going to ice it down a little bit. They lead at 18-14. Shaner with the ball, gives it back to Snitcher. They'll play catch a little bit. Trojans are going to put a little pressure on, start the count. McDermott comes out to meet Tyson. Tyson just brings it back, under 20 seconds. Round the screen again. Things will happen now, we're down to 10. Let her roll. Tyson, oh my, what a move. Wow. I wasn't even going to mention that shot. They darn near put it in from the other end. And I, that, missed, I missed it. That move by Snitker Rewind. had everybody out of the way. He just went in, laid it off the glass, and got the bucket, 20 to 14. Portfolio is properly diversified to meet your personal goals and risk tolerance. Security sold, sold through PFIC Securities Corporation, member NASD and SIPC, an affiliate of Union Planners Bank, NA, not FDIC insured, not guaranteed by any bank, may lose value. A little hand check on the drive by Kent Edward. 20 to 14, and that ball will be out of bounds to the Trojans. Murphy brings it in, almost throws it away. Booker has to run it down. Lackabar comes out on him. Booker makes a move inside, drops it off to Combs. Shot won't go. Lackabar takes the rebound. Snitker pushes it down. Hardiman. Tedford back over to Nick. Nick thought about it. Moves in. Puts up a 20-footer. Not quite. Rebound. Lackamire loses the handle. Hardeman's there. He fakes his man. Puts it up and in. <laughs> That's staying with it. 22-14. Now.
Now back the other way. Nick. Little shot won't go. Puts it back one more time. Now he's got it. And the Trojans call a short timeout from the bench. It's 24-14. And uh, we've played not quite a minute, and the Maroons have jumped out to, what was it, 20 to 14, two quick baskets. Yep. And that's uh, 10 point lead now. I don't think teams want to get us in an up tempo game. That's where I like to see us play part of the time. Tonight's ball game is brought to you in part by Hershey Chocolate and the Robinson plant, where they manufacture heat, milk duds, sixlets, paydays, and whopper candies. That's Hershey Chocolate right here in Robinson. Well, they used two or three timeouts already, haven't they? Holman brings it down, gives it to Murphy, and Murphy brings Nick out, hands it to Schick. Now Booker. Booker guarded by Hardiman. Schick looks for help. In the middle and off the hands of Quentin Combs, and it'll be Robinson Ball. Wrong. Good defense by the Maroons again. Wrong helper. Hardeman to Tedford. Brad Lackamire. Well, the Maroons have scored six points. The Trojans nothing here in the second quarter. Booker in the corner, guarded by Hardeman. Goes to the Good basket. Good help Tedford. Cut off. There's Schick. Puts up a 10-footer. He got it. Ryan Schick finally breaks the ice for the Trojans here. here 26-16, Snitker out to Tedford. Now Brooks will control. Booker has the job to guard him. They look for Brad. Now he sails it over to Snitker into Brad. He moves inside a little fade away. Wow. Brad Lackamire. That's a new shot. Hot hand tonight. 28-16. Jump ball. Is that what they called? Yep. It was out of my line of vision. Blackmire made the shot and sprinted down to get in a position on defense. Really putting out the effort tonight. Coach Doty wants to plead his case a little bit. Maroon's ball, 28-16. They lead it by 12 here. Biggest lead of the night. Snitker will bring it down. Second quarter action here on senior night in Robinson. Five minutes to go and a half. There's Lackamire Going again. Brad Lackamire. Long rebound in the hands of Lackamire. Gets it to Tedford. Two on one. They have it knocked away. Controlled by Snicker. Nice pass to Shader. Off the glass. Guess who's there? Hi. I'll be darned. <laughs> Strangers in the crowd. Lackamire will go to the line and shoot a pair here. Booker got the foul. His first fourth team foul for Charles. Lackamire with a fine first half. 12 points. A little winded. <laughs> yeah, he needs a little pressure on him to shoot the free throw down. Used to somebody with a hand in his face. Tedford comes out. Hardeman checks back in. Got there that go. one. There we go. 31-16. Crowd gives Lackamire a well-deserved hand. Brad comes out to breathe a little bit. Lucas Taylor comes in. Go to work, Lucas. Maroon's up by 15. Inside to Schick. Schick bottled up in a hurry. Lucas all over him. Booker on the drive. And a blocking foul is going to be called on Lucas Taylor. 
I bet Booker doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> it's like bouncing off a wall. First foul on Taylor. Team foul number four. Well, we've played over three minutes in the quarter, and the Trojans have only scored one field goal. That's been it. Booker missed the first shot. Missed them both. Lucas Taylor there with a the rebound. Gives it to Snicker, and Tyson will push her down the floor. Shaner to Nick. Nick shuffled his feet a little bit. Hearn's doing a great job on the boards, only 15 to 6 edge and rebounds, and I expect a good half of those have been offensive boards. Yeah. And they did that uh, last night. With the uh, second half, in the, yeah, yeah, the second half with um, whoever they played. <laughs> you mean tonight? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, tonight. <laughs> tonight, this is the second game of a doubleheader that you're watching. Booker in the corner goes inside off the hands of Combs and into the hands of Hardiman. Kyle takes it down, gives it to Nick. Now Snitker with it. first half the Maroons have really played well in the corner to Hardeman Kyle looks in the middle and then comes back out with it Snitker uses Lucas as a screen now Brad Shaner back out to Lucas put up a three Luke Brad inside to Nick Nick moves in puts it up won't go rebound loose Shaner controls it got his put on the line, line. 31-16 with 3.36 to go here in the half. Maroons lead. Here's Tedford and Lackemeyer check back in the ball game for Hardeman and, and uh, Taylor. Quality minutes there by Lucas Taylor. Sure. Murphy. Back out front to Combs. Holman. Gets it to Murphy. Murphy, yeah, uh, good, good move. move yes. Saved the ball and threw it off Shaner's body. And he's Mur got an arm. Yes, he does. <laughs> Trojans will keep it. Back out front. Schick puts a shot up. Doesn't get it. Lackemeyer gets the rebound. Snicker in a hurry. Takes the baseline. Loses it out of bounds. Who gets to keep it? Maroons Mur will keep it. Thirty-one sixteen, Maroons on top. Shaner brings it out deep to Tedford. Now Nick. Back over to Snitker. Three minutes to go in the half. Tedford backs it out. Now Tyson to Nick. Nick moves inside. Charge. Whoops. Oh, no, he got a block. Ooh, got away with that one. Murphy thought he had position on him. I believe he did. First foul on Brandon Murphy. That's why I'm back here. Team foul <laughs> number five. <laughs> Those kind we don't say much about, do we? Huh? No. <laughs> Still 31-16, 248 to go here in the half. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated. 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. Tyson will bring it in. Gives to Lackamar. He gives it back to Tyson. Now Nick Brooks, and he'll hold it. Come get it. Brad and Nick play catch out front. Inside to Lackamar. He's Makes going. a move. Didn't quite get what it. What a rebound. Nick. Oh. <laughs> Just reached out over everybody and pulled it in, didn't he? Nick Brooks with the score. We got a timeout by the Robinson coach. It's going to be a short one. 33-16 the score with 2.22 to go here in the half. The Trojans have only scored one field goal here in this quarter. First Robinson Savings Bank, proud to be your hometown bank, serving Crawford County for over 119 years. Deal with the people you know and trust. The First Robinson Savings Bank, 
They're always ready to take care of all your financial needs. They're a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender, a real community bank. That's First Robinson Savings Bank. Dwayne, don't you feel that Robinson needs to play? I mean, those layoffs, yeah. those weeks where we had one game every week, it seems that when we get some back-to-back -back games and several games in a row, we play well. Well, I think it especially denied the last home game. Okay. Well, they're cranked up for tonight, I believe. McDermott gives it out. Brandon Murphy will put the shot up. Long rebound out to Snicker. Right in his hands. Had it swiped away by Holman. And then they almost lose it. That's McDermott picks Crowd. it up. Schick gives it back out to McDermott. Ryan makes a move in the lane. Has to drop it back to Schick. Schick will put up a three. Doesn't get it. Nick there with a the rebound. Maroons will push it down to Brad Shaner. Brad tried to go inside to Lackamire and put it right off the foot. Uh, whoa, I thought it was uh, Schick's foot or uh, Holman's. They said no. Uh, Brad, I didn't know your feet were that big. That rebounding edge is up to 19 to 7 now. 33 16 is the score. Holman gives it up to McDermott. Shots no good. Rebound loose on the floor. Out of bounds. It's going to be uh, Robinson ball. Schick tried to save it, but couldn't quite get the job done. A minute 16 to go in the half. Trojans have still only scored two points. One field goal. Tyson gets it down to Tedford. Back to Tyson. Maroons just may hold it out now. Nope. Yeah, yeah probably will. They're right at a minute. Snitker runs over, somebody runs over Brooks. Uh, Ball got away. They're going to give it to uh, the Trojans. Coach Gillespie wants to know why. Well, we'll have to back that one up and look again, too. Inside, here's a shot outside by Combs. Won't go. Rebound put back up. Comes up short again. Loose on the floor. Uh-oh, here comes Nick Brooks. Look out. 35-16. Maroons. Schick gets it down in the corner to Holman. Or to Combs. And the foul's going to be called, I think, on Kent Tedford and Nathan Holman. That Second. goal, the goal's still shaking down there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Second foul on Tedford, team foul number five. Each team with five fouls. Here comes Kyle Hardeman back in the ball game. I'd like to see the Maroons hold off, keep that one field going. Yeah, that'd be nice. 15 seconds to go. Holman works out front. He'll put up a three. Doesn't get it. Rebound goes out. Hardeman has it taken away from him by Schick. Nick Brooks out hustles everybody. Good ball three. out of bounds. Who's going to get it? Charleston Trojans. Nice hustle. I don't think Gus agreed with that one either. Three seconds. Somebody will have to put it up in a hurry. Good defense by Snitcher. There's the shot. Nope. Doesn't get it. Wow. 35 to 16 at halftime. Uh, put a hand in his face in the second quarter and kind of kept him off balance. It'll be Trojan ball as we start the second half. For the Maroons, it'll be Tedford, Shaner, Brooks, Lackamire, and Snitker on the floor. Trojans lost it. And it's saved by Brooks. And the, the turnover gives it back to the Maroons here. I'm sure the Trojans didn't want to start the half that way. Nick Brooks out on the way. Drives the lane. Gives it off right. to Lackamire. Brad drops it up and in. Teamwork. Nick just slipped it over to Brad. Brad dropped it through. 37-16, Maroons.
Brad Janner staying right in Brandon Murphy's best pocket there. I was catching up on my figures I there. wonder where you went. Well, I, I <laughs> made a mistake. I looked down there and I thought, gee, that's not right. And it's just February. Yeah, I know. Well, here goes Nick in the lane. Puts up a little short jumper. Has to get his own rebound and put it back. Little extra work, 39-16. Trojans take a long pass down court to Murphy. Drops it over home and uses an elbow. Tries to go inside and uh, winds up on the floor. Looks like some words exchanged. Words, words. I'm not sure what it was all about. That's Quentin Combs that went underneath, rather, number 35. Well, I think it started down here. Somebody had a hole in Nick's arm. Looked like on the way up. And then his elbow hit the floor down there, so... 39-16. Quentin Combs will be at the line. He'll shoot a pair. Still holding them down. Uh, neither team was in bonus in the first half, were they? Uh, five fouls each. It's the first foul of Nick Brooks. Quentin makes the first one. Thirty-nine, seventeen. Got them both. Make it eighteen. Snitker with it gives to Brooks. Back out to Tedford. Over to Tyson. They look inside. Tyson takes it to the lane. Puts up a little runner. Won't go. Brad Lackemeyer with a big rebound. And uh, foul's going to be called against McDermott. And Brad Blackamire with another rebound. We'll go to the line. Thanks. Yeah, he's had a bunch. Second foul on McDermott, first team foul on Charles. A little hard. First Robinson Savings Bank, proud to be a sponsor of tonight's ball game. They wish the Maroons continued success this basketball season. That's the first Robinson Savings Bank with deposits insured by the FDIC. Make it 40-18. Holman on the drive. Shot's no good. Rebound Tedford. He pushes it down, hands it off to Shaner. Brad moves inside, puts it up and in. They make it look easy. 42-18. Ball knocked away, but picked up by Murphy. Murphy drives, makes a bucket, but he's fouled, and he'll go to the line. He's going to count it, too. Yeah. They got a field goal. It's been a long dry spell. He missed a shot. Rebound, Shaner. Did they give him credit for that field goal? Yeah. Well, they didn't. There they did. There it is. I thought maybe I'd made another mistake. Turnover. Gives it back to the Trojans. Brandon Murphy holds it up. Gives it back out to Holman. Now on the inside is Combs. He missed a shot. Here I like it. We're fighting over ourselves for the rebound. That's good. Nick made him alter his shot. Tyson running the offense. Now Shaner over in the corner and gives in to Brad. Lackemeyer with a little turnaround. He's got that one iced down, hasn't he? Brad Lackemeyer with another one, 44 to 20. Timeout by the Charleston Trojans, a short one. Wow. I think maybe they might slip around, maybe try to front Lackemeyer a little bit. He's been playing on his hip all night and he's got uh, Two, four, five, eighteen points against him so far. What? Oh, that's the winning ticket. I thought he was giving oh. something important down there. We don't have the ticket. For well, the best. Do we? Jim, sorry. <laughs> I won. We? My wife won the 50-50 tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm surprised he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, the picture doesn't move anymore. <laughs> Well, probably seen the last Aloy head for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remi remind him to put a little of that away next week down at uh, Regional. We may say, uh, we could use him. Come on, I just gave him. half yeah. of it back. <laughs> well, that's another 50-50, isn't it? 
Out of the corner for three. I forgot Quentin about that. 44-27. Oh. Maroons lead it. Here's Shaner in the corner. Now Tedford. Four to Nick Brooks. Nick holds it. Gives it back to Brad. Shaner in the lane. Finds a hole. Drive. Score. Block. Count the bucket. He'll go to the line. Shaner will be at the line. Let's see if Brad can sink this, make a three-point play out of it. Brad's going to do it this time. The jinx is over. I, I agree. I think so. Got all the faith in the world. Swish. All right. No problem. Count it. Here comes Kyle Hardiman in the game for Shaner. 47-23. Get the ball. Get some contributions from different people tonight. Yeah. It's good to see. Everybody chipping in. Holman. Shot's no good. Nick Brooks with a rebound. Down to Hardeman. Puts it up. Didn't get the shot. Rebound. Pulled out of there by Combs. Holman. Gives to Booker. Pat makes the shot. 47-25. Here's Brooks. Look out. Nice move. Oh, rolls around and in. I think he did that on purpose. 49-25. <laughs> it's one of those horse shots, right? Yeah. Murphy drives against Tedford. Has it knocked away. Picked up by Booker. Booker's going to put up a three. That's off. Rebound Nick Brooks. Maroons move it down in a hurry. McDermott tried to make a steal but didn't do any good. Tyson will pull it out in the corner. Set the offense. 3.47 to go here in the quarter. Kent Tedford. Now Tyson works against Murphy. Down in the corner to Hardeman. Hardeman takes a shot, takes the baseline, gives to Lackemeyer, and Lackemeyer is hammered pretty good. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair of them. I think Combs. Cole's first. Third team foul. That may have been a jump ball about, what, 48 miles up the road, Route 1? I'm sure it would have been. <laughs> Brad in and out. Second shot coming up. Got that one. Lucas Taylor is going to come in. Give Brad a break. 50 to 25. Maroons lead it here with 3.30 to go in the third quarter. They have really controlled this ball game. McDermott drives. Shot's no good. Foul's going to be called on uh, Hardeman. And that'll put Brian Dur McDermott at the line to shoot a pair of them here. Don't forget Royal King Supplies, your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt Insulated Outerwear, Polar King by Key, a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus Northerner Boots by Service, and Lacrosse Insulated Boots. That's all a Royal King Supply, located on Route 33 east of Robinson. 50-27. Tyson gives to Hardeman. Kyle looks inside and then pulls it back out. Brooks with it. Nick. Tyson. Murphy tried the steal. Wasn't quite quick enough. Inside to Nick. Nick's on the baseline. He just walks it back out. Tries to go inside to Hardeman. Maroon's ball out of bounds. And Lucas Taylor will throw it in. Hardeman had good post position there. Whoa. Tedford saved that one. Forward to Hardeman. Kyle inside. Ten-footer off the glass. Won't go. Rebound. Pulled down by Holman. He's still got it. Drives the lane. Pushes uh, blocking. Foul's going to be on uh, Tyson as uh, 
Holman just kind of ran over him. Tyson couldn't get out of the way. Had his feet moving. I'd reckon. <laughs> First foul on Schnitzer. If you were being pushed by a pickup, wouldn't your feet move? Oh. Hmm. 50 to 27. Maroons lead it. 2.42 to go here in the third quarter. Said she donated half of that to her husband. What did he say? Yeah, I don't see any of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the paycheck. I hate direct deposit. <laughs> Brandon Murphy out of the corner, comes up short, rebound, Kent Tedford. Maroons bring it down the floor. Two and a half minutes to go in the quarter. 50 to 27, they lead it big time here. Hardeman. To Nick Brooks, Nick. Over to Kyle. Kyle in the lane, looks for help. Stolen by Brandon Murphy. Look out, Tyson's on it. And he, <laughs> he said one way or the other, I'm going to get it in. <laughs> he said, come on, man. Well, really, I think he was hanging on to yeah. protect himself. Oh, yeah, but I think what happened was when he grabbed with the other hand, reached yeah. back for the ball and tried to do it again. <laughs> Too tempting. Too yeah. tempting, that ball. He says, out I... Skip Dillon made the call on that. He said, I got to call a tee on that. He didn't have a choice. What an athlete that Murphy is, though. He is. Tyson got down there in a hurry. Got that one? Is that his first time to line tonight? Yeah. Got yes. them both. Yes. Looking better, 52-27. And it'll be Maroon's ball. Shaner will throw it in, gives it to Tyson. Brad Lackamire back in the ball game. Brad Shaner back in the game. Nick Brooks backs it out. Booker works on him. They go underneath to Brad Lackamire. Has the ball blocked. Booker picks it off. Trojans push it down the floor. Booker on the drive. Puts it up and in. Nice play by Pat Booker. 52-29, Maroons. Here's Nick Brooks. Nick. What? That block. Oh, pretty quick. <laughs> foul on Pat Booker. His second, fourth team foul. Maroons the ball. Run that, run that Tyson Snicker play here. Yeah, where is he? There he comes on the other side. They did. They did. I don't, guys. <laughs> yet. There he is. me away. 54-29. Why in the world they can't watch an All-Stater? Shot's good by Quentin Combs. I'd have a handful of jersey if nothing else. Let him drag me behind him. Tyson works against uh, Holman. Uses Nick for the screen, gets it over to Tedford. Now... Brad Lackamire pushes it back out to Shaner. Nick thought about it. Minute to go here in the quarter. Oh, oh. woo! Foul is going to be on the floor, and uh, it's going to be out of bounds. 58 seconds. It's 54-31. Boy's got springs in his shoes. Yeah. First foul on Nathan Cox. Team foul number six, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. It is oh. six. I'm glad you said that, Shaw. I didn't even have him in the ball game. Nathan. Lackamire. That's why he's your partner, Jim. I just did right. <laughs> Without him, I'm nothing. Cover each other. <laughs> Snitker. Charles is just giving up. 56-31. Long pass down to Booker. Shaner's going to be called for the foul as he tried to get a little piece of that. 43 seconds to go here in the third quarter. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire. For Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated. 400 East Main and Robinson, your complete car care center. And the Trojans turn over, turn it over, and give it back to the Maroons here.
Nitker. Works with it out front. 25 seconds. They'd like to hold Nick. the last shot. Ooh, it's Nick helps him up. <laughs> Tyson. They try to double team him. Now he's back out. Under 10, got to do something with it here. He's going to take it in the middle, put it up. Brad, come on, boys. It's good if it goes. Doesn't go. There it is. 56-31 at the end of three. Charlie Incorporated, CI System, serving Crawford County and the surrounding area with authorized Hewlett-Packard printer service. For all your warranty and non-warranty repair needs, give Charlie Incorporated CI Systems a call at 618-546-5442. Located at 1214 North Allen Street in Robinson, serving Crawford County and the surrounding area for over 25 years. And good luck to the Maroons from the Kemper CPA Group. See Kemper CPA Group for your year-round tax service, accounting, and auditing. That's Kemper CPA right here in Robinson. Weber Insurance and Realty offers complete life insurance through Cincinnati Life to cover all your personal and business needs. When it comes to business insurance, Weber Insurance can provide you with a coverage for buy and sell agreements, key man insurance to provide continuity of business, and much more. Let Weber Insurance put your mind at ease with complete coverage through Cincinnati Life Insurance. See Weber Insurance and Realty on the east side of the square in Robinson. 56-31, well. Well, Dwayne, I think you've been looking for one of these games all year. Yes. And this is, a, like we've talked about, this is a quality ball club we're yes. playing tonight. <laughs> Nick, would, they yeah. tried the alley-oop. He missed it, but he's always there for his own rebound yes, and put back. Alley-oop, oop. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a song from... <laughs> Don't, let's not go there. Booker on a nice move. Pat Booker with the bucket. 58-33. Shaner gives it in to Nick. Nick takes the baseline way and puts up a little layup. Got another one. 60-33. to 33. Fourth quarter just underway. Yeah, the Trojans have really taken it on the chin tonight. There's a three. That's good. Quentin Combs buries that one. 6'3", senior for the Tro Trojans. Nick Brooks in the lane. Little turnaround. Tries to draw the foul and does. It's not going to be stopped. Third foul on Pat Booker. Out of bounds yet? No. One and one now? One Is and one now. now. What are we from the line, Dwayne? We were six for eight in the first half, and one, two, three, four, five for seven so far this half. Jason Woodard, the ball game. Brad Shaner out. That's 11 for 15. Jason, one of the seniors. Jason got that. <laughs> Telling us before the ball game, qualified for state three years cross country. Fine accomplishment. Yeah, he didn't act like he was going to mention that, no. did he? You had to bring it up. He's quite a kid. Typical uh, Coach Cork athlete right there. 62-36. There's Booker shots, no good. Rebound, Jason Water. I'd like to see Water get a basket. Nick will bring it down. Jason's got it in the corner. He'll take it back out, give it to Nick. Inside to Lackemeyer. Brad moves in the lane to Snitker. Tyson found a hole. 64-36. It's the last time we scored 70, Dwayne. It's been a while. Quentin Combs with it. Gives it up to Murphy. Tedford on him. Brandon takes it to the lane. Puts up a one-hander. Won't, won't go. Rebound. Put back up and in. Holman, I believe. Okay. Nathan Holman. Take your word for it. I don't remember very many other offensive rebounds. Charleston. 64-38. Snitker works against Murphy. Now Tedford lobs it into Lackemeyer. Brad in a crowd. Gives it out to Jason. Jason for three. Not quite. 
McDermott pushes it down the floor, spins away from Snitker, uh, falls down, and Tedford's going to get called for the foul. Third foul on Tedford. Kent was just a spectator on that one, I think. In the seven games we've done, Jerry, their high point gap has been the 63 points. 61 once and 16 once. I think they may have had 70 at the holiday tournament. Knocked away. Good defense. Picked up by Holman. Bumped Brooks, and Brooks is going to be called for the for the blocking foul. Second foul on Nick Brooks. Nathan Holman at the line. Holman's a junior. He'll be around next year. Nathan Lawrence, 23, that played in the game, was a sophomore. McDermott. Be McDermott's back. a junior. They're going to be a load next year. We saw a couple of three uh, pretty good quality sophomores in the JV game. Too. Got that one. 64 to 40. I think Charleston had about uh, four dunks in the JV game. You don't see that often. It's another kid by the name of Murphy coming on, too. Yeah. Jason Woodard. Gives to Nick. Nick on the drive, tries to dump it off to Lackamire, and a foul's called. Nick will uh, go to the line and shoot a bonus. thing I worry about in a game like this is a, an just, injury. I'm just going to say that. The, yeah. the dilemma that uh, Coach Gillespie's in, they're on a roll. You want to see them play well. But, boy, you're just a sprained ankle away from maybe being ordinary next week. It's... Nick's first one's good. Dwayne, what's, uh, what's Nick got tonight? You got a 22-25. Counting, 26. McDermott gives it back to Combs. Booker for three. Nope, they give him three. Yeah. I wasn't sure where his foot was. Kent Tedford works against McDermott. Down in the corner, Brooks has got it. Takes it in the lane. Now back out. Booker would like to steal it. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Nick to Tedford on, for Tedford. three. Can't. That's oh. get it. Booker or uh, Brad Lackamire right, with another one. Another rebound. Another bucket for Brad Lackamire. Twenty-one for Brad Lackamire. Booker again for three, won't go. Booker picks up the loose rebound, lobs it inside to Combs. Combs puts it up, has it blocked by Lackamire, but the foul on the floor, and I'm not sure who's going to get the foul. Forty-two. Lackamire. Mr. Lackamire got it. second. Lucas Taylor's going to check in. Another important for Jason. Another important stat. Brad Lackamire, two fouls. Yes. It's, and it's, Kent Tedford with three and nobody else with more than And two. as hard as he played tonight, you know, going after the boards and um, just a nice all-out effort. Sixty-eight forty-four. 44 Combs, or, uh, yeah, Combs will have another one. Gets them both. 68-45. Lucas Taylor will bring it in, gives to Tedford. And Tyson will bring it down. Brooks. Looks in the middle to Lackamire, has it knocked away. McDermott on the drive. Oh, Tries to drop that. it back. Missed the shot, do it again. Combs can't get it. Nick. Somebody got called for a foul, but they never let him get it to the basket. Nice pass. Lucas Taylor with his second foul. Team foul number nine. We're going to be shooting a bunch of free throws here shortly. Got four minutes to go in the ball game. We need to shoot some free throws. No, we need to make some free throws. We need to yeah. make some, oh, yeah. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Ganging up on me. Call.
Combs got him. 68-47. Brooks out front with the ball. Tedford. Now to Tyson. And then looks inside to Lackamar, gives to Tedford. Come Tedford on, puts ball. up the Come shot, on. won't go. Over Rebound back. loose. Picked up by the Trojans. Almost got a walk and call. Murphy drives for the bucket. Hammer. He'll go to the line to shoot two. I think they've made contact before. <laughs> Murphy's been pretty quiet here, though. After those three threes in the first quarter, he's only got one basket since then. Got a free throw now. Looks like Jason Woodard getting ready to check back in the ball game. And does for uh, Lucas Taylor. Gus is going to make some mass yeah. substitutions here shortly. Probably would like to work on a couple of things, but you don't. Want to run the score up. Off the foot. And uh, it'll be Maroon's ball out of bounds. 3.27 on the clock, 68-49, Maroon's lead. Got another conference game coming up, and it may not be a pushover. That oh, Effing Effingham plays well at Effingham. It's and Effingham has beat some good teams this year. A lot like the Big Ten. The follow conference on the road is yeah. tough. Tedford tries to go into Lackamire. Woodard picks up a loose ball. Jason. Double team gives to Brad. Brad walks. He, yeah. he took a little hop before he put the ball down. Well, he leaned back and there was nobody to lean on. So <laughs> he had, lost his balance is what you're saying. He had to move his foot. <laughs> Holman to Murphy. Quentin Combs finds a hole. Puts it up against uh, Lackamire. Uh, just get out of the way, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Brad even had his back turned that time. Come on, man. That's his fourth one. Fourth foul, yeah. <laughs> Here I was bragging. <laughs> Open my mouth. I think uh, he got just a little bit of sympathy from uh, Larry. Um, forgot who it was now. Binion? Uh, that's Binion here, isn't it? No, I don't know. <laughs> who knows? Skip's the other guy. Starting to sound like Apple. Jim Holzapple. Harry Carey Holzapple. over here. Who's on, who's on first? <laughs> that's who it is. Holes Apple. Combs buries it, 68-51. That's tightening up here with three minutes to go. Tyson will bring it down against Brandon Murphy. Tyson uses Nick as a screen again. Woodard back to Tyson. Into Brad. Brad moves to the bucket. Put it up. Won't go. In a crowd. Brooks. Who got it? Brooks. Brooks puts it back. Take He's your fouled. Pick. Take your pick. One after Combs. I think it's going to be Booker, I think. Uh, I'd like to see Gus make some substitutions here. Yeah, right? before we get in trouble. Fourth foul on Booker. Ninth team foul. 68-51. 234 on the clock. This will be uh, free throws number five and six for Nick in the fourth quarter, go. which means he's he's getting some punishment in there. Let's see. Now we got a wholesale. You got all those? <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> I'm always impressed with those announcers who do hockey games. Yeah. When they change the line, forget it, Shaw. Well, one thing I do see is Brad Reed, number 50. We saw him dunk one in the uh, JV game. Jason Murphy's number 25, a brother to Brandon out Nick there. Nick Brooks, last home game. And he gets a standing ovation as he comes out. So back on the floor for the Maroons, we've got... Um, Shaner and Taylor. 
Danks out there. Here's a long three, won't go. Scramble for by Reed, bodies on the floor. Still on the floor, ball loose. I'm not gonna call you, that a you'll rebound. Just, no, you'll just have to watch. I saw Ark on the ball. <laughs> Harding with the foul. Yeah. Curtis Conrad's in there. Next year's team plus Lucas Taylor in there. Yeah. yeah. And Reed right. at the line missed one. And now on. Lucas comes back. Matt Trotter, 6'3 sophomore, checks in for Lucas Taylor. So right now all the seniors are on the bench and they've played a good one here tonight. Yeah, they sure have. A lot to be proud of tonight. Reed shots no good. Rebound Shaner. Be interesting to see these guys play with uh, Hardeman and Shaner on it. Shaner out front and Hardeman. Conrad's working inside. They'd like to keep looking to him. Danks gives it over to Hardeman. Hardeman on the drive. Nice drive. Lost the ball. It's going to be, whoops, hey, come on, man. I thought uh, that's Mr. Zebka. Kind of thought maybe he touched that before it went out of bounds. Who? Zebka. Oh, okay. <laughs> Question me on that? From Ayuka? <laughs> <laughs> Zebka from Ayuka. I'm waiting for Shao Joe or whatever his name is. Yeah, I, would, I hope he doesn't get in. Was a few years ago when they had the big kid from Nigeria. Nathan a, Cox. A three. Nathan three Cox. Boy, it was a three. Three, three. Danks with it, gives to Shaner. Brad drives down the middle, doesn't go. Murphy with the rebound. Chased down by Danks. Another three put up, no good. Rebound. Uh, thought it was going to go in. That was Ryan Johns who got the rebound. He drew the foul and he'll be at the line. Brad Shaner with the foul, is third. Foul number well, I'd, 14, I think, or 13. So. John's made the first one. This is now uh, I'm first time I've seen people get up and leave. There's a minute left. Jim, the uh, Friday night both. game that we're going to tape over at Effingham will be shown Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. Okay. I've got to be out of town on Saturday night, so I'll be putting the tape in on Sunday night instead. Sounds good to me. You're not supposed to have a personal life during the season. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> The wife says different. You can talk to her. Okay. Nathan Cox. Reed. He said he tucked his shoulder. And, uh, Brad Reed's a 6'3 sophomore. Pretty good sized kid. Yeah. Trojans put the pressure on. Whoops. Yeah, he pushed uh -oh. him out of bounds. Gus not happy. Tyson wanted to go back in the ball game. He says, get back over well, here. Gus today. told him to get up, then he told him to back down. Yeah, sit down. <laughs> Darn kid keeps wanting to play ball. Curtis Conrad this at the line. Double penalty or double bonus. He shoots two. In and out. Curtis will get another one. Conrad's a 6'3 junior. He'll be seeing a lot of action next year. Got it. Down in a hurry. Reed kicks it back out. Now they'll go for three. Shots no good. Rebound put back up by Reed. No good. Loose ball picked off by Johns. Shots no good. 70-56 Maroons lead with 31 seconds on the clock and Ryan Johns will be back to the line. This last minute and a half or so has been kind of ugly. Yeah. yeah, it has. John's missed them both. Shaner with the rebound. Clock running. Brad backs it back out and gives to Danks. 
About 20 seconds left. Four to Trotter. Down to 15. Shaner up. Rebound pulled down by Reed. Here come the Trojans in a hurry. Murphy kid puts it up and in. Other Jason Mur Murphy. Other Murphy. The other Murphy. That's going to end it right there. 58-70. 70-58, the final score with the Maroons, the winner. Well, it took a while, but uh, they blew somebody away, and they picked a good night to do it, and a tough team to take off. They really, I, I think, really pretty well embarrassed Charleston tonight, because I don't yeah. think the Trojans were figured on.
Baltimore in basketball. Tonight, the Maroons are hosting.